you guys how to take off your makeup and what better canvas to have to show you guys how to take off your makeup. <laughs> Before we get into it, don't forget to check out the description box below. I'll link all of my social media stuff down there. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me and I love all of my subscribers. They're part of my family. So definitely make sure you subscribe, become part of the family. <laughs> Alright, so first things first when I'm dealing with this amount of makeup, what I like to do is use baby wipes just to try and scrape off as much of the surface makeup as possible. <laughs> Just be very careful around your eyes. Then what I like to do is take my cleanser. This is the Ultra Circles Ultra Balancing Gel Cleanser. It's not really designed for makeup removal, but I just find that it works really well. So what I do, grab a little bit, work down the area, and then go in with the cleanser. to work with half of my face at a time as well. That's what I do. Yeah. And then I also do use this on my eyes. If you have sensitive eyes, probably don't recommend it, but um, I do. I just close them quite tight and then get a wet kind of cotton pad. I'll finish that eye off later, I'll come back to this side. Now most of that is off, I'm going to actually cleanse my skin, just like shampooing, like when you do your first shampoo, it kind of gets just all the residue gunk off your skin, and then the second shampoo actually goes in and allows like all the active ingredients to penetrate and work correctly, so that is what I do with my cleanser. The first cleanser was pretty much just getting all the crap off, and then this second one is going to let it do its job. <laughs> so then what I do for my sensitive eye area, of course you can use makeup remover that is designed for the eye area. I just find it really expensive. What I find that works just as well is oil, like coconut oil, um, olive oil. Obviously if you use too much, it's going to irritate your eyes and if you do have really sensitive eyes, I probably wouldn't recommend it and if you have normal eyes, I mean, use like the smallest amount. Um, so I just find that like, you know, it just works really well to get off makeup and, and residue that other kind of cleanser won't remove. I use a little bit of coconut oil on that, then I go in just with water. And what you can also do is use some coconut oil just on any other areas of your face. It's a very good moisturiser and even like you see it still picks up just little bits of residue that the cleanser didn't get. Then lastly what I feel is really important is using some cotton tips either dipped in a little bit of oil or just water. This is really important and what I do is close my eyes and just run that right in my lashes, like right all in between the lashes. And you see like there's still color coming out. So you wanna make sure that you really get all of that out because otherwise you can get styes and eye infections and things like that. So it's just really important to make sure that you're getting every little bit out that you can. So now I recommend you go in with your normal routine, toner, whatever, serum, 
whatever, whatever. I find that, you know, after doing that amount of cleansing and just rubbing on my skin, my skin is very, very dry. Even though my skin's normally combination oily, I just feel it feels really tight. So I go in with some of the coconut oil as my moisturizer. It doesn't cause breakouts or anything. It's just very, very hydrating and nourishing, especially because it's winter here in Australia. Whew, my skin's been dry, so I just find my skin really drinks this up, so yeah. <laughs> and to show you guys, so much for watching I hope this has answered some of your questions on how I remove my makeup I pretty much do the same technique for normal makeup and then obviously for more dramatic makeup as well so thank you guys for watching as I said don't forget to check out the description box below I will link everything including that skull tutorial if you guys want to watch that one as well so yeah love you guys and I'll see you in my next video bye